uh, I thought today was really productive. I thought um, there's good energy on both sides. And so that was, a, um, that was something that's been consistent throughout these practices. Uh, the uh, emotions and the, the energy has been there from the beginning. And so that's just way cool to see ever since really the, the walkthroughs and uh, the winter conditioning, that's been the case with this team. And so that's just continued to uh to be that way and so excited for that and what can what can become with that um i thought the execution was good i thought offensively connected on some deep some be, uh, deep balls today which was really good i thought the the passing game in terms of the vertical game is probably its best today that it's been really all throughout spring and so i think it, it can be a launching point there i know the uh, quarterbacks got a lot of confidence off of that and, um you know with the the wide splits and just the run in here and the passes out here, there's a lot of one-on-ones. And so to connect on those one-on-ones are game changers, you know? And then I thought uh, defensively, I thought we were able to get the ball out a couple times. I thought we were able to, to uh, pursue to the ball. I thought we were able to pressure the, the passer just on base calls uh, uh, with technique and, and that. And so it was good to see. I thought a lot of the things that we were working on on both sides going into this, um, we were able to see evidence that there's execution, which in really in the big picture is really what you want to see because we're so early into it. You want to see that hey, the stuff that we're working on is showing up somewhere and it's showing up in a positive way, and we were able to have that today. So take any questions you guys got. How have you seen the kind of the offense and the defense really kind of adapt to what I guess seems to be a much more up-tempo style on both sides? Yes. No, um, so yeah, offensively, I think um, we have we have periods where it's a uh, it's scripted periods, and then we have periods where it's a uh, it's a call it move the ball period, and so um, you know you could see the offense come to life in the the call it move the ball period just because of the momentum and the uh, you know how fast the the ball is being snapped and uh, the downhill run and the vertical shots and stuff, and so. Um, makes it tough on a defense, you know. And then I think defensively for us, it's it's good that I mean, whether it's the first game of the year or it's the the uh, whatever game that's in conference. I mean, you you can name off a bunch of teams that are very similar to what we're doing. And so to get the work on it uh, all the way through is is a positive thing. And so I think we're uh, we're we're relishing really the opportunity to kind of be tested. You know, I think that's the. The thing that might be a little bit different is like, hey, this is really hard for us. This is this may not look good or look pretty, but we can either look at deal with it now or, or deal with this in October or uh, September. And so it's a positive to go through it now. Coach, I heard some running around a little bit, kind of testing out that knee. Do you have any update on that, on that front? Yeah, he tweaked his knee uh, really early at the start of spring. And so right now he's day to day. And so we're hopeful that here sooner than later we get him back. Uh, there is a chance that it could be later. And so we're still waiting to see um, if we can get him prior to the end of spring. How have you kind of seen that offensive line to, you know, take shape, obviously, losing just a couple pieces of game with some new additions? There? Yeah, there is a, there is a violence to them. Uh, there is uh, a really, really strong care factor to them. I think uh, for sure um, on this team, there is a chip on the shoulder. And um, I think it's probably the biggest with that particular group. And, um, you know, they, they play that way. And I think, you know, that probably starts from inside out with Colton. And, uh, but then you're looking at guys that uh, like Ryan Lingell that's, kind of uh, been a guy on the side and now he's in the middle of it and then you're looking at young guys like Alvin and and all that that are just taking a way big step and not like young guys anymore and so all, a lot of that's cool good to see how's the quarterback group looking anybody <laughs> separated themselves in, in that regard so far the competition is um, is one where it's uh, you know they're in and out of reps and so Someone starts with the ones, um, the other guys rotating with the twos, and then the next day you'll get the, the reverse of that. Uh, and so what you see out of Sawyer is a really strong care factor, and then you see 
the uh, ability to hit on uh, on intermediate and uh, timing throws, and then his ability to run the ball, you know, on the designed runs, I think is a uh, is a positive. Um, and then you sh you see leadership with him, and then with uh, with Quan, you just you see his ability to extend plays, uh, his ability to hit deep shots, uh, and uh, his his ability to uh, to make something happen when something's not there, right? Whether it's a run or pass. And so I think he's, because a lot of the runs are reads. And so I think he's, a, um, for sure, there's an 11th guy you got to defend when it's uh, when it's Quan. And then, you know, I think the other guys are, I mean, whether it's uh, the, uh, you know, uh, the move the ball periods, whether it's, uh, you know, seven on seven, like RJ's, Probably his his arm talent might be the best in the room of all of it, and I think like uh, for him to get over, you know, here's the view of it, here's the look, and then here's this all this stuff that's not what it looked like to kind of get past that point. I think is the one thing he's kind of fighting through, but it's just a pure passer. Uh, RJ probably has the the most natural talent that way, and so we're trying to get him through the the thing of it looked like this, but it ended up, ended up being that, which is a natural thing for this time of year. Coach, guess in these spring practices, are they QBs airing out more this year than maybe even compared to a couple of years in the past at this point in the season? Do you think QBs kind of enjoy that a little bit more? Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, and so I think there's more, you know, there was a point in winter uh, in, uh, we had walkthroughs and meetings and all that. And so I think we're about into like walkthrough or meeting number nine. And, um, you know, offensively it was, it was they had different words that they would use, um, uh, but when you look at it from a layman view, man, it's all verticals. I mean, how many ways can you call it a vertical? And so I think like that, that's, that's the throw game. It's a vertical throw game. And then uh, with the run, the run game in the interior and then the tempo around the edges of it, it can be, uh, 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 it can, it can be very explosive. And so I think, I mean, we saw that today. I mean, there's we hit on about two or three of those today, which was a good thing. So hopefully the confidence just takes off from that. What about kind of the benefit of that on the defensive side? Because I know, like Coach Curtis said, it kind of keeps those corners on their toes instead of maybe falling asleep with a lot of run plays during practice. Yeah, I think the, um, yeah, so the challenges that you get now are for us in our league, this is what we see, you know? And so whether it's, uh, I mean, we could go through all the teams in our league. I mean. There, there are semblances and resemblances to what we're seeing right now. So the work that we're getting is going to carry over to that. And I think, uh, you know, that, that's, that's uh, new for us. And I think that's only going to benefit us. Kind of uh, looking at this <coughs> second spring practice, what do you guys need to do leading up to that spring game, I guess? What's, what's on your mind in terms of improvements that you still have to see, I guess, in these first two weeks? We have to execute game-like situations. You know, I think like one example is um, I've been in the back. Um, that's where I've normally been uh, during these situations, calling plays, and I'm not going to be able to be on the field in the back. I'm going to have to be on the sideline. You know, it's I've, I've, I've uh, so I'm going to have to work on the sideline there, and then um, you know we're going to have to be able to get into more substitutions, and we have to integrate special teams more than what we have. And so those are things that have kind of worked. We've uh, part and parceled that out, and we have to come together with all of it in a, in a true scrimmage-like situation. So that's going to be a big jump. I um, mean, we've got some new pieces uh, that are involved in all that, but I'm excited about that. I, you know, there's a great excitement in the team, and so it's fun when um, everybody wants to be here and everybody wants to do uh, to do better and to do it in a way that uh, kind of makes a statement. So that's fun to be around. So everybody you really seem kind of, you know, to step these these past two weeks. I mean, from the, from the first time we talked to you to now. Uh, Keaton would be one. I think he's been he uh, he's been one. Carl Williams been another one. Um, let's see, Tonga has been one. I think when um, there's a couple practices we have uh, call ups. And put up so put ups at the end of practice would be players say, "Hey man, this dude's doing a great job. Let's put him up." And then a call up would be, you know, "Hey, we can have some improvement and stuff." And so Tonga was, I think, about first three or four days 
on the other side of that. And so for him, yeah, that's totally flipped now. And so I think he's totally made that transition and is really thriving now. And I'm excited for what can be. And then I think, you know, offensively, I would probably go to Quan with just his improvement and his, uh, his confidence and all of that. And so positive things. Uh, I think Coach Chaney and even Keaton and Matt Jones are talking about having you in the room there, mm -hmm. the linebackers a little bit more. Have you, now that we're two weeks into spring practice, mm -hmm. have you enjoyed being a little bit more hands-on with the defense? How has that process been like for you over the last couple of weeks? Um, I mean, I, I do. You know, I think whenever it, it used to be when I wasn't involved with the day-to-day -day football, and I could see a lot you know, um, outside of football. I could see whether, you know, where the team was, I could see where the staff was, I could see kind of, uh, you know, maybe it's, um, you know, all the, the, um, the, the nutrition is and academics is and all of it. And, you know, it's harder when you get into football. It, it's like, we were talking, um, what's the movie? Um, was it, is it Inception where you just go to all these different levels? <laughs> so you could go, and all these different levels of reality where you just go and so when you get into football it's very much that way and it's just harder to see um, the things that you saw before because uh, all you see is football you know which that was the life that I lived prior and so um, it's good to have the help that I've got here um, and so the communication that we have here and then the help that we have here and you know everyone's on board and it's it's cool when you feel that you're uh, people got your back and you're all working together so it's a good feeling. Dave, is there a kind of a timetable you, you want specifically towards naming the starting quarterback and what, what you really feel like uh, is, I guess, a good timetable to do that uh, after last year, you know, came in probably mid-summer? Yeah, I would, I don't think there is a right time until a guy's really won it and so I think the guy's got to win it. And our job is to try to prepare and then get those positions um, set up so that a guy can go out there and win the job. And I think we're not really close to that right now. And so I think uh, the rest of spring will be uh, interesting to look at. And if it's not done by spring, and then we may have to go further. But competition is always a positive piece. And I think anytime you've got really strong competition, then you know, what's interesting about this particular uh, instance is it's a new offense and, you know, every day it's a new install. And so to juggle all of that um, and then have success on the other end of it is uh, something we're still trying to find a balance with.